In this video, we'll look at how to use Blackboard Collaborate to record a student presentation for a class. It's a pretty simple process. We've broken it down into eight steps, um, but the steps are really basic. You launch Blackboard Collaborate. You run the audio setup wizard to make sure that the proper microphone is selected. This is particularly important if you're using a headset. You want to make sure that the headset mic is being used and not uh, a built-in microphone that's on your laptop, for example. If you have a PowerPoint uh, that you're going to be using for your presentation, you need to upload it. Um, then you click the talk button so that the microphone will actually start working and Blackboard Collaborate will start listening to your microphone. You click the record button to start recording. You do your presentation, then you click the stop button to stop your recording, you exit Blackboard Collaborate, and then uh, 20 minutes later or so, go back in and check the recordings page to see your recording and uh, verify that the whole process worked for you. Let's get in and take a look at how this works in, in actual practice. So here we see I'm in the course. I've navigated to the Blackboard Collaborate list page where I'll see all of the sessions that I have access to inside this particular course. Uh, for this course we just have the one presentation recording session. So what I want to do is click that presentation recording link to launch the session. It takes a second to start up. Now I'm using Firefox so the pop-up windows uh, I'm gonna see are for Firefox. If you're using Internet Explorer or uh, Chrome you're gonna see some different Windows, but the process is essentially the same. Uh, it asks, do I want to open or save this join JNLP file? I want to uh, open the file, so I click OK. Java gets started, and then uh, Collaborate starts up. I see this security warning message. Do you want to run this application? Uh, if I don't want to see this message again, I just check this box uh, before I click Run. Now Collaborate gets started, and we connect to the session. Now I get this recording reminder. Do I want to start recording? I don't want to start recording yet because I haven't uploaded my PowerPoint, nor have I checked to make sure that my audio is all set up. So I'm going to click Close here, and then I want to go to the Audio Setup Wizard. That's this little gear icon at the top of the Audio and Video box. If you're using a headset, you'll see two options here. Otherwise, you'll probably just see this top one, speakers, high definition, audio device. That's the built-in microphone if I'm using a laptop. If I'm using a headset, I want to select the headset, then click OK. Now I want to do a little test of the speaker, so I click Play here. Welcome to the Audio Setup Wizard. This wizard will help you set the optimum levels for both your microphone and speakers. Please follow the instructions carefully. At this time, move the speaker slider to the right to increase the volume, or to the left to decrease the volume. To increase your volume further, you may have to adjust the level on your speakers. To repeat this message, click No and then try again. Thank you. So, just as that message said, you adjust the slider to the volume level that's comfortable for listening. It's not going to affect the recording volume, it's just the listening volume, but that's helpful when you go back to listen to other folks' presentations. So I've set this to a comfortable level. I'm going to say yes. Now again, uh, do I want to use the built-in microphone or do I want to use the headset microphone? I want to use the headset microphone because I get better sound quality from that. And now I click essentially the same process. I click record, I talk at the volume that I'm going to record at, and I adjust this slider for more or less volume. Um, a little bit of yellow is okay, but you don't want to see a lot of red. Or I talk at the volume that I'm going to record at, and I adjust this slider for more or less volume. Um, a little bit of yellow is okay, but you don't. Uh, so I check that volume. It seems like it's okay. If it was not okay, I hit no, try again. It runs me back through the whole microphone process, make sure the right thing is set up, hit record, adjust this slider. That was way too high, so we'll put it down here. Okay, that's good. Stop. It'll play that back for me. Hit record, adjust this slider. That's great. Yes. Okay, so now I know that my audio is going to work properly. Now I need to upload my PowerPoint presentation so that I can view it on the whiteboard space. So I click Load Content. 
locate my PowerPoint presentation using the browser here. Click open. Depending on the size of your presentation, this may take some time. I've got two slides, so this runs in pretty quickly. Um, now you see I have this page explorer that I can use to jump from page to page. Uh, and I'm just going to tuck it to the side here uh, where I can kind of see it and use it without it getting in the way of viewing my presentation window, the active window that folks will be looking at. And now I want to start recording. But first, click Talk. This actually engages the microphone. And you see the slider bar jumps up and down. That's how I can actually, a visual cue, I can see the microphone is picking up the sound of my voice. Great. If I need more volume, I can slide the slider here. But again, you don't want your voice, this bar, uh, to be constantly hitting the far right side. You want it to be closer to the middle, otherwise it'll be much too loud. Now, we start recording. Just click record in the upper right here. Start resume recording. Okay. Recording started. Got that little message, recording started, and away I go. I can use the arrow buttons here to jump to the next or previous slide, or I double click on a slide to push that slide into the viewing window. If I need to do any highlighting, uh, I can click the pen here and underline things. Um, I can select different colors. I can choose a highlighter instead of a pen. See, that's just a thicker line that you can kind of see through. Uh, I can do a box or a uh, ellipse. It's just a sample of a box. Uh, I can do a filled in uh, rectangle or circle. I can draw lines. Uh, I can use the paragraph tool to enter text on the page. When I'm done with my presentation, I want to click recording again to stop the recording. OK. Recording stopped. And now I can close the Collaborate window. Do we really want to leave this session? Yes. And now that that's done, uh, I can go and do something else for a while and give some time for the recording to process. The recordings won't come in right away. It takes 15, 20 minutes to for Collaborate to process the recording and have it appear on the recordings page. If it's a really high volume time, it's say toward the end of the fall or winter term, there may be much more load on the Blackboard Collaborate servers, resulting in it taking longer for the recordings to get produced. So if you've gone through all those steps and you come back in 20 minutes and you don't see the recording, don't panic. Give it a little more time before you start getting concerned that your presentation won't show up. And here you see I have uh, waited about 20 minutes and I've got um, my recorded presentation here and I can view the presentation by clicking on the link here or here and it'll launch the Blackboard Collaborate player with the presentation running inside and little hash marks for each time I change slides and a little transport bar at the bottom. Your professor uh, may go in and enable uh, audio and video downloading of the presentation if they so desire, or you can just view it in the Collaborate Player window. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact the Instructional Design Studio.